In this brief tutorial, we're going to talk about an extension for VS Code called Live Server. And when we use this extension, it'll give us the opportunity to see our code changes as, as we update our code in a web browser. So let's take a look. First, we'll go to the extensions and we'll search for Live Server. We type in live and server and you'll see it come up and we're going to install it. And now that it's installed, you're going to see a little option down in the bottom that says click to run live server. What that's going to do is open up your default web browser and show you your code file um, in what's called live server. So you can see your changes. So I have a little test page here and if I go down there and go live or I can right click in my code and say open with live server and what you'll see here is a web browser tab opened okay this is a sample page to use live server in VS code and that's going to show my current code now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some changes I am making changes and hit save and as soon as I hit save in VS Code, my web browser will update. No page refresh necessary, which is a pretty cool thing. Now, some folks have asked me, how can I actually see my code or my browser changes right inside of VS Code without having to, ha <clears throat> having to have a separate browser open um, and such? So what if I wanted to tab in VS Code to see it? Well, what I can do here is I can take the web address of the live server, which is running on port 5500 currently, and I can copy this. So this is going to be the address, and like I can go open up another page, and I can pull it up, right? So it's still a live server in another page, and if I was to make changes, it would update here as well. But what if I want it in VS Code? Well, that's pretty simple. Let's go up to our command palette. And in our command palette, and I've done it recently, if you start typing for simple browser and you click on simple browser and with simple browser, just paste in the address and hit enter. And now you'll have a tab to a web browser inside of VS Code. And if we're making changes here, I am making changes, more changes coming, hit save, flip over to your simple browser and there you go more changes coming so updates and if we say let's you know take this away once that is a fun tutorial hit save and go over you see it keeps up to date that's how you use live server in VS Code and for some of you who want to see your code changes right inside VS Code just after you get your live server address open up simple browser again that was up in the command palette and simple browser it gives you a browser inside of VS Code and just paste in the address to your live server hope you found that helpful if you have any questions or any ideas for some future tutorials just reach out and let me know I'll be more than happy to put something together for you Hope you follow my page and uh, see you soon.